In this video, we're going to be doing variables and data types, activity number one. Hello everyone, we're going to be doing variables and data type, as I told, activity number one. So now what are variables? Variables is a placeholder that stores information, and over time, we can also change it. And data types means the types of data, like numbers, decimals, text, like this. So this is our activity number one, the calculator case. As you can see, we are creating a variable called temp C. So temp C is equal to 100. So this is our variable temp C and it is equal to 100. Now temp F means Fahrenheit is equal to temp C multiplied by 9 divided by 5 plus 32. So what it is, means 30, 9 divided by 5 plus 32 divided by temp C, which is equal to temp F. So now we're going to calculate the temp K. So temp K is equal to temp C plus 273. So temp C plus 273 is equal to temp K. So temp K is another variable. We have three variables up till now, temp C, temp F, and temp K. So we're going, we're going to print the results. That the temperature in Fahrenheit is temp F. Temperature in Kelvin is temp K. So now we're going to go on to the calculator case part 2, which is temp F is equal to 88. So this is a, a new variable we have, which is 88. And R temp C is equal to temp F minus 2 mult divided by 5 divided by 9. Multiply by 5 divided by 9. So we're going to do this first, which means temp F 88 minus 32. Then after that, we're going to multiply it by 5 divided by 9. That is R temp c now it's our new variable so now we're going to go ahead and start running the program so let's go ahead and run it and the temperature in fahrenheit is 212 fahrenheit and and in kelvin it's 373 k we're going to move on to the next calculator part, which is calculator part three, which is going to be in the next video. So stay tuned for more.